welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew, and you're watching Drew the Theme Park Dude. We're here for episode two of the Jurassic World Velocicoaster construction update. These images were taken a few days ago, so no, some may be outdated, but I will point that out. So, like, this image right here in the background, you guys will see there's no barbed wire there, as there are right now. So, yeah, I'll just be pointing those things out. And, yeah, we're going over the complete Velocicoaster review, so we'll get over to the first image. You said review, I meant update, but, yeah, here we go. So, yes, this is the first image. It's kind of broad there. You can see, like, the rock work on the left. So, yeah, there's not really a crazy much to talk about this one image, but, like, you can see a lot of the supports, the crane putting in more of, like, the little details. And you can also see the little entrance being built to the bottom left, where you will enter to get it on the coaster. You're also going to be able to be seeing um, several, like, new little design details. And, yeah, you can see, like, the little workers to the left, um, where, um, that was where the thumbnail was, which we'll get a closer look in a second, without all the text and stuff, but, um, yeah, that's kind of like your outside, you see, like, the big queue, the big show building, and then the majority of the outside coaster with that big, incredible-looking top hat, but, yeah, it looks really neat, um, this by far is probably one of the most broad pictures, but, um, yeah, there's not really too much except for a lot of the scaffolding went down, a little bit more details, and looks to me that, um, yeah, like this little bottom area is getting a little worked up on, but even though that will not be with our priority, since this was announced to come out summer 21, and they will still have time to fix that. But yeah, let's get over to our next image. Like a little close up of the rock, like you will see like the big fence, where there currently now is like a little bit of barbed wire and lights. You will see like that big turn that you take in, going right through the rock. They did hide some of the raptors under this, so you can't see them from like this view. Because I did not, just going to say like how I did in the last video, I did not enter any non-guest areas. These are all taken from literally just walking around the park. So yeah, just have to say that. But um, yeah, the last time there was scaffolding all over this rock. And now it looks to be around 90-ish percent down. There's a little bit on the left. But probably by now it's already down. Because I will be filming update number 3 very soon. So yeah, I'm excited to see what's been changing. But um, yeah, here we go. This is really neat. Um, I really do love how they slowly are um adding more and more stuff to it. Because then you can notice more things. Like, you can see, like, the little train card in the bottom, bottom left with the iGen thing over it. Because this was taken in the beginning of the day. And then you'll see where it was in the middle of the day. So, yep, yeah, that's your second image. There's really not a lot to talk about for this one. But for the next image, it'll be a lot. So, yeah, we're going to go over to that next image. Image right here, you can literally see so much. You can even see the blue detail of the train under the little thing from this one angle. This was probably one of my favorite images I was able to take. It is from the turn spike the Emmelman after your first initial launch. So yeah, you see three construction, actually four there. One guy's like completely over the track, like completely on it, which is, you know, telling me the track isn't too big, but you know, that's pretty neat. You can see the rod vehicle right there under like the coating, and you can even see the blue silver under that car tarp. That is just really neat. And it just gives you a hint that those concepts that were leaked a few months back are true. And like, you can actually see the rod vehicle which is really neat because this is, I believe, one of the first instances, like, from an image wise. I know by now people have even seen the top with it off. But for, like, taking this image a couple weeks ago, uh, about, no, a, few, a couple days ago, before all that, this was very early to be able to see the actual part of the tarp. And, yeah, you can see I'm trying to lift it up and going around to make sure everything is good. I believe it is still on its initial loop, so it's going to be a while. But, yeah, I'm going to see how many times I can say, but, yeah. In this one video, because I probably already said it like 10 times. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So, this um train looks really neat. I love how it has, like, all, like, the detail. And, like, you can even... Even though it's not a crazy amount that you can see, you can see, like, the blue and the silver. And even, like, the little crane going up. And, like, you can see him, like, pulling it on it. So, yeah. That is definitely a major construction point. We have one more final image to show you guys. I know this is going to be a lot shorter video than my average video. But, um, yeah, before we continue real quick, I just want to say, if you guys are enjoying the video, please leave a massive like and subscribe. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers. If we can hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, I know it's still a few months away. But I just want to make that as a goal. That would mean so much to me because, you know, hitting 2,000 would just break the barrier. It would just, I would never, you know, it would just be crazy. So, yeah, if you aren't subscribed and watching this, please subscribe. And, yeah, we're going to get over to our final image.
one doesn't show a crazy amount except that they did finish the support beams on the bottom going over the lake. Because you can see four like little parts of the track here. You can see the two like, like little turns will go through. And you can see the two up top. This almost makes it look like a dueling coaster. But obviously it's not. But just from like this standpoint it kind of looks like one. You can also see Hulk in the back which I still have yet to do. So when next time I'll go though. I most likely will do it. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm still kind of nervous though. Comment down below if you guys have done Hulk. Uh, but yeah. Off topic there, but you can see like the bridge that makes you be able to completely bypass the Wizarding World from Lost Continent to Jurassic Park. They was especially needed. That was that temporarily temporary bridge. I would not be shocked when this coaster opens, they get rid of it. But now it's time for a little Rick's Flicks rumor that he did come up with that I just want to elaborate off of. That in 2021, when this coaster closes, um, opens, they're going to announce a month or two outage that Jurassic Park River Adventure Venture will close and will open spring to summer 2022 with the brand new re-theme of Jurassic World. Just in time for the new movie since the new movie did get delayed and it could use the new movie aspects. It could use Fallen Kingdom and the original Jurassic World and as well as the original Jurassic Park. Do I think it's going to be a lot like Hollywood? I do not. They have a lot more room in, in Orlando. They can add more features but the only downside is to Orlando is like literally the second you enter the building within a minute and a half you're down the drop so that is going to be the little disadvantage they might have to build some outdoor sh show scenes such as the um, Mosasaurus and maybe if they want to include the gyrosphere or whatever in that aspect because the second you enter you're going to have maybe room for a couple animatronics of the ominous rex and the t-rex and then you're done so yeah I'm really excited if they were to do that but I would miss the retro Jurassic Park. I still hope they keep that dinosaur that you enter under the bridge, a.k.a. Fred. That's what I named him when I was little, so I still call him Fred. Um, Yeah, like the big dinosaur. I hope they keep him, but if they don't, you know, not the end of the world. But, yeah, that's your Jurassic World construction update for Velocicoaster number two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a massive like and subscribe, like I said earlier. But, yeah. If you guys don't want to it's all good we have many other social links down below with my discord which you can keep up to date with all channel notifications twitter which i'm probably i'm trying to hit 100 followers on twitter by the end of this month that would be incredible so yeah thank you guys for that if we can hit it instagram where i post you know relatively daily i've been not going daily recently but i will be returning very soon to daily images we also have a website which i only have one article up right now about um Hollow screen with replica gardens, but we'll be getting several more up within the next month or two. I just wanted to focus on more videos, and yeah, there we go. Jurassic World Velocicoaster construction update number two. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. See ya. Bye.